Good morning, happy Sunday, and happy Grandparents' Day. You know, I was really blessed to have my grandparents live well into their 80s, and there's so many fond memories of them. Um, my Grandma Hampson and Grandpa Hampson, uh, Grandma Ruth took me to California when I was in fifth grade. She made me save up for the trip, so I had my own spending money. And uh, she would buy me uh, international dolls. I still have that doll collection, um, which is awesome. Hopefully I get a granddaughter that I can pass it on to. And then um, she also was uh, quite a talented uh, crocheter knit. I still have blankets that she made. And uh, they lived in a Tudor house. And every time I see a Tudor house, I get a little twinge like that one. Isn't that beautiful? Um, you know, and that brings me back to that time. And we would go to my grandma and grandpa Walter's house for Christmas Eve. And I remember being around the baby grand piano and singing Christmas carols. And their house was magical. Um, my grandfather was a carpenter. He built all these cool little, little shelves and closets. And my grandmother was an amazing artist and she painted the murals on the walls. And their backyard was like a little fairy garden. It was, it was mystical and magical. And they had deer that we could actually sit on. Of course, they weren't real, but it was such great memories. I, I'm so lucky that I had them in my life. And I think about my own kids and my niece and nephews and um, how blessed they are to have my parents in their life because they are amazing people. And, oh, sorry. <laughs> and we're just really lucky to have them and their wisdom and their love and their kindness and their generosity. And so just tell somebody in your life that you love them. And I know we can't give hugs, but oh, we are blessed. We are truly blessed. Have a great day and move it, move it, move it.